This is Tampa Tech, and learn something new from PC, TVs, and gaming too. Let's get it started. Alright, I'm setting up a 47 inch TV, and this is a 47 LM 6200, and it's a Cinema 3D with passive 3D glasses like the movie theater style. It comes with six in here. And it's a smart TV, and it goes on, has all of these apps right here, as you can see, and a bunch more apps after you download it to update. And you have to connect to the internet for that. And then it has the Wii style, Nintendo Wii style remote as a TV remote, which is kind of cool. And it makes it easy for web browsing. It's LED, 120 hertz, true motion, for it, which is good for sports. Um, and then it does convert any 2D to 3D, so you can watch anything and up convert it to 3D image. So anything that you're watching in high definition will up convert into 3D. But of course, three true 3D content is best. It'll give you the most uh, pop out effect. And these are all the connections that you see as in right here. So it has the landline for the ethernet jack for the internet coming from your router or modem. The PC input, RGB. Some people like to call it VGA. Um, that's the audio input so that comes from your laptop and this comes from your laptop and then you have your uh, image from your laptop on your TV and then your standard def um, yellow white and red plugs right here it comes with the adapter and the component video cable right here um, this is a basic cable when you just coax cable screw it into there and you do an auto scan and it has an HD tuner so you'll get HD local channels as well as basic cable channels and there's a digital optic out to your surround sound. So you do an optical cable out to your surround sound to get surround sound. HDMI 1, HDMI 2, HDMI 3, HDMI 4. And this is the fourth one is for the PC HDMI. Uh, the first one says ARC audio return channel. So if you have a surround sound receiver that has ARC audio return channel, then you could just you know, plug it into there and activate the ARC settings in your receiver. And then you can eliminate the optical cable out to your surround sound. So, which is kind of cool. Um, the USB, that's for if you had like, you know, uh, MP4 player, MP3 player, or a USB drive, a thumb drive, a bunch of different names, removable, removable memory drive. Uh, it has another USB right here as well. All right, actually three USB ports. So let's go ahead and get started. So when you open it up, Here's the neck. Here's all the cables, uh, the remote, I believe, and the adapters for the standard definition uh, plug. The manual is right here. And it's stuck to tape. I'm going to get that later. There's your, there's, what is it, two in a box? Yeah, two glasses in a box. It's paper light. No batteries included. Active Shutter has the batteries and their shutter. They flicker on and off. Some people complain about the flickering in 3D. Some people don't even notice it. This is going to go in there. These right here hook into right here. And then they sit down right here, which is that, and then that. See, now once you have it in, it should be all flush right here. All right, that. So let's put the screws in. All right, and the last screw goes in right here.
five bars that's awesome for our, like streaming HD. So you just click on the top network key code. Now I should say network connected, which is good. Mm -hmm. All right, and if you have a cable box, you don't need to do the off-air antenna, so you can skip that. Complete. And then this is the 3D button right here. This is the shortcut for the apps. Mute, ch uh, volume up, volume down, channel up, channel down, but that's only for basic cable. Mm -hmm. You have that, you would use this remote, you have to program that. And it's the home button. Hit the home button right here, you can change the inputs. Hit agree. And there's your dashboard. And then your inputs are all right here too as well. Here's your settings, your picture settings. Right here, let's go down, 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 down. They have a hidden thing right here called Picture Wizard too. That's calibration. Let's go ahead and calibrate it. Oh. It's really cool. I like this feature. So I, I recommend this TV. Preferred, of course. Mm -hmm. Next. And let's take a look. And let's calibrate it to all the inputs, which it is. Firm, and then it's calibrated, free of charge. So let's hit home again, and go to inputs. So on the bottom left, there was inputs on the bottom left, mm -hmm. and let's go to HDMI two. So let's uh, let's go ahead and change the uh, name. So this one. There, now it's labeled DVD. Okay, good, good. Okay. I don't know why that's labeled DVD. Let's put that one and label that. Like notebook or something. What the heck is going on? This thing has a mind of its own. <laughs> notebook. And you imagine I'm going to have a time with it myself too? Enjoy. <laughs> now, you don't have to actually click on this. Mm -hmm. You just scroll down. Mm -hmm. You know, go down. All right, HDMI 1. It's going to be probably the receiver later on if you're going to get a receiver. Home theater and HDMI 2 is satellite. And then you close it and boom, it's all labeled. And with images, icons, and stuff. I'm lost in said. Alright, so let's go ahead and click on satellite HD. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty good as you can tell. Mm -hmm. And it's calibrated too. Wow. So, alright, I'm going to program this remote. And uh, actually, let's go to the 3D channel, which is on satellite with 103. 103 is, is, is a 3D. 3D. Really? See? Oh, okay. So, right now it's in 3D. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can tell. See how blurry it is? It's in 3D right now. So go ahead and let's go test the 3D glasses. Okay. So right here, this is the 3D glasses. No batteries needed. This is the home. And this is actually a movie theater style passive 3D. Two glasses come, come into a box, right? Yes. Two pair. So okay. see how like blurry it is. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit blurry. Yeah, and then this has really good pop out effect. That's just 3D passive 3D is pretty good on LG. But anyway, let's go ahead and put it on. See. If you stand back like six feet, it looks even better. Mm. But you have to. Um, I can, you know, I can see I'm now for the apps, I'm going to show you the apps. You hit the app button right here. Which one is the apps button? Well, bottom oh, right. Okay. When you hit the app button, uh -huh. there's a dashboard. Okay. And then it pulls up the dashboard right here. Uh -huh. You can click on home. And then here's uh, there's some free 3D content right, right here. Yeah. You can click on this. Right, yeah. There's YouTube also, there's mm -hmm. Netflix, Hulu. Mm -hmm. Um, all that cool stuff. Yeah, you click on the 3D world mm -hmm. and you can download some free 3D content. And so here's a, a bunch of 3D content. Mm -hmm. And this one's 26 minutes long mm -hmm. and it's free. Mm -hmm. uh, That's great. And go, click on play. Now if you go ahead and go down here. Click on options on the bottom right and go ahead and click on that you go into the 3d settings 
So I have to take it off 3D before I can go? No, no, no. It does it automatically. It toggles on and off. Okay, but you can also hit the 3D I don't button. I get confused with all that. <laughs> yeah. do, I, do I have to? And you, go, you click on internet right here. Mm -hmm. okay. And then you can use this to browse the internet. So let's go click on Google or Yahoo. What about... Uh... There's Google. And you just type something in right here. How do I get to Verizon? Yeah. If you want to get to Verizon.net, you just click up I'm, here. I, I'm, um... Yeah, you just click right here in the address bar and just type it in right here. Oh, so it doesn't come in automatically? No, you would have to um, go okay. ahead and type it in. Could so you if you type in uh, Verizon.net uh -huh. and click on your favorites, uh -huh. you can add it to favorites, uh -huh. and it should be in your favorites list. See favorites up there? And it'll be part of this, your favorites Could list. You, type in so you don't even have to finish spelling it. See how I have right it? Right is there, right. Right there. It finishes spelling it. And just right. click on the top uh -huh. one right here. Uh -huh. It'll pull up Verizon.com. There you go. All right. And right. then you can exactly. do residential. Right. Yes, okay, yes. Yeah, this, that's, that's, I know all about that now. That's cool. And the speed is not, there's the load bar up here. Mm-hmm, yeah. And See, then I, I, you I'm click on favorites right yes. here. Uh -huh. So click on favorites. Okay. And then it says add it to favorites. Right. And then right here, uh -huh. click on that, mm -hmm. and there's your favorites. favorites right. And there's the internet, or there's the Verizon okay. right here. Good, okay. You can check your email. Mm-hmm. And then uh, to get out of that, uh -huh. you just hit home. So anytime and I'm into something want to get out, I press click in, click on home. Let's try, yeah. Okay. Yep. And I click on DVD. Mm -hmm. So uh, the DVD seems to be working fine. Oh wow. And to get out of that, hit home. Mm -hmm. And go to settings. Mm -hmm. and back to satellite. Mm 